Machine Gun Kelly, the innocent bystander in this story, caught heat from none other than Wendy's. And let me tell you how. Please don't make him do it. My pop punk album to recover after his diss isn't ready. They knew they could, and this is what Wendy's, I'm gonna give them credit too. They knew they could take shots at Machine Gun Kelly, no pun and intended. His, and his fans wouldn't get scary about it. That's, the, okay, so <laughs> that's I'm, Wendy's corporate side judging the risk. We assess Judge the, the risk, risk of then, joining before That's a very acting. corporate it's move. such a corporate move. Had this been Panda Express, I <laughs> think they would have bashed every. Everyone, including Eminem, K including Haley or K-pop, Haley, Eminem's daughter. She That's has right. nothing to do with, with it. With extra MSG, bitches. Yeah. If this was Little Caesars, all right, yeah. they would have shown up at Machine Gun Kelly's house with a machine gun and two horrible pizzas. Two horrible pizzas, which all three of those things can be qualified as, as things that could kill you. Weapons of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, if it was Bojangles, Bojangles, I, man. That's right, if you've been south. to Bojangles in the South, that is a biscuit that it's almost like Biscuit Town. Remember Biscuit Town? Biscuitville. Biscuitville. Take it on down, down to Biscuitville. Bojangles would have rustled up some Proud Boys to come after both oh, guys for not acting yes. as white as they should. Fat Burger, come on. Fat, Fat Burger would have talked about dissing them and then taken a nap because, because <laughs> Fat Burger, they're barely making the burgers let's over there. Let's be honest. They're yeah. barely, because uh, I think Arby's would have called Ving Rames. I would say Long John Silver's probably would have stayed out of it. You know because I mean? Long John Silver's, all right, that place is on thin ice to begin with. Long <laughs> John Silver's, worst idea for a fast food restaurant ever? Yeah. Long John Silver's. We only taste expensive. They're like, let's take the one item that is the least favorite item at other fast food restaurants. The fish cake. The, I didn't think I liked fish. The fish sandwich. Yeah. And let's make that our whole restaurant. Let's just, let's focus on that. They call it fish and more for four. Let's take the guy, the woman in the Broadway musical who can't sing. Right. And make her the lead. Make her the lead. Make that the main dish. Long John Silver, he knows how to take care of shrimp. That's like someone opening a store that's called Just Suppositories. We so, What do you guys sell here? Just Suppositories. Oh, you just sell Suppositories? And there's no front door. And the back door only opens up a little bit, so you got to slide through the crack. Uh, just Suppositories! I never thought I'd hear a beef between a literal fast food restaurant that actually sells beef and a rapper. But hey, this is what the world has come to.